Okay, so in our last video, we were trying to pull up our website, and for a brief second, it gave me a slight heart attack because it was pulling up, and I was trying to figure out what was going on. But it was still, it was just cached, and uh, that website was had been downloaded to the page. So when it couldn't find it, it was just pulling up the the default uh, web page that it found in the cache. But uh, we got that resolved, and now it's not pulling up anything. We have our HTML here, but we can't get to it, and so in order to be able to get to it, we need a controller to tell it to pull up. And so what we're going to do is we're going to come into our controllers folder and I'm going to add a new item. And what we're looking for here is the MVC controller empty. And so MVC controller empty. I'll click on that and say add. And it will bring up this page here and uh, this is an empty controller. Now, it's got some code in there and we have to kind of go through and say, what does this code mean uh, when I just pulled up an empty controller that still has code in it? And so let's see if we can walk through this and figure it out. So um, first of all, in order to do any of this stuff, there's a package that we're bringing in called MVC. And the MVC package is what's dictate, dictating to us, or to the program, to uh, follow these conventions as we build stuff, these rules that when I say this thing, what I mean is actually do this. And when I type this name, what I mean is actually that. That's all part of this M MVC. And so that popped in automatically. We're using Microsoft.ASP.NET Core MVC. And then um, we have a namespace. Now the namespace is the overarching name of the project. And so you'll see this all throughout the program. Each thing will have a namespace um, in, in the C-sharp code. I was going to click on this, but it won't have it in here because this is HTML. But in the C-sharp stuff, it'll have a namespace that everything follows that namespace, which is... Um, you know, similar to the, the naming convention um, that I use in terms of using a name to tie everything together um, in assignments or quizzes or whatever. It's all one, part of one thing. This is saying, yes, this is part of the my first ASP.NET blank project fun group. And then there's a dot and then there's a controller. So this is saying it's in the controllers folder in the my first ASP.NET blank project fun. All right, so that's the namespace. Inside the namespace is a class, and we've talked about classes in the C Sharp Crash course. And the class is called Home Controller. Now, this one is important because it can't actually be called Home Controller. I named my folder blah, and I did that on purpose. This should be called, because I called that blah, this should be called blah controller. And it's going to, by virtue of MVC and by virtue of this thing we call coding by convention, it's going to go recognize the index CSHTML file in that blah folder in the views. And so um, if I name it, oh, and the name of it actually is home controller, so I need to change that. I just realized. Um, I didn't pick up on that. So, but sometimes this is good because you know when I make mistakes like this, it points out that problem. So, this should be called blah controller because it was named blah here. Now you saw that its default was home 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 and that's what we'd typically see. And so if I wanted it to be called home controller. Now, by the way, if you're renaming stuff in .net, don't just go in and and uh, say home that's a bad way of doing things because it's not going to uh, cascade through the program. What you do, and this is really cool actually, relative to other languages I've worked in, if you highlight that and right click and say rename, and you say I want to instead call it home controller, then it will go in and change the name here, but it will also change the name of the file. And anywhere else that's using blah controller in our program, if we'd had hundreds of lines of code, anywhere that we uh, made 
reference to block controller, it would then say home controller. So just remember that whenever you're making a modification to something, a name, uh, highlight the whole word, right click, rename, and then change it and it will update all the references relative to that. And so if this is now the home controller, which it is, then this file folder name should be home. Those should match. And so um, whatever the controller name is, we want it to match the name of the folder and then those files related to that folder will be in there. So now when it says index, it knows that it's referring to the index in the home folder. Okay, this is, again, it's complicated, but it's so much better. Uh, you know, we talked about this idea of flying in a Cessna versus a Boeing. And, you know, if you're, if you're doing a big trip somewhere, you won't want to fly in that Cessna. You want all the benefits and, and luxury that comes along with the Boeing. And so, you know, for one-off small programs, maybe this isn't what you want to use. But when, you're, when we're building big projects, we'll see how helpful it is when we do this stuff. But we just have to learn these rules initially. So in the controller, again, we're going to name the controller something. Default is home controller. And then we're going to have a matching folder in the views called home. And then inside that folder will have any views related to this controller. Easy enough? Okay. Just again, takes a little bit of getting used to and then it works great. So let's keep looking through what's inside. So we have our public class home controller um, that uh, is a controller. And what we're saying with this is that the home controller inherits from the controller class is what that means so the home controller is inheriting everything that a controller generally can do it gets all of its properties and all of its methods and we use it um, with our controller that's called home controller then we have this line public i action result index now we've learned about passing in and returning stuff and so what this is saying is that what is returned from this method is something called an I action result. And what is an I action result? It's just a class that's been created. And, and just like we created a class named, uh, you know, whatever, uh, in, in the, I can't remember exactly what the name of the classes were, but, but in the hangman video, let's say I return a, a class called game or something. I just built that class, I made my own properties, I made my own methods. And that is a class, and, and I'm returning that type of a class that holds that information. Here, the name of the class is I action result. And this is going to be what comes out of this method when we're all said and done. And um, I wouldn't worry too much about the details of what this means at this point, but just know that that's what we're returning. The result of our action, we're going to pass it back, right? Uh, and or pass it out is a better way of saying that uh, index is the name of the method and the name of the method is going to match this name here now we we leave off the CS HTML but this if, if this was named um, so if I called this uh, let's see if I can do it rename Spencer if I did that and renamed it Spencer then over here on this side, the name of this would need to be Spencer to represent the view in that home, con home controller folder. Then we would need those names to match because this is the name of that. It's the name of the view. Okay. And so as we create different views, we'll, we'll use those names um, to reference that page and be able to access it. So those names need to match. And then of course the parentheses are if we need anything passed in for us to be able to do what we're doing. Then we have a return statement and we're gonna return out of this controller a view. And the view in this case, when we leave it blank, if we hover over this, um, we'll look at the overloads that are there. Well, one of the overloads is if we don't pass anything back, just pass back the view associated with this name. And we'll talk about that more in the next video. Spencer out.